Hello everybody and welcome back to some Risk of Rain 2 with mods. We're playing modded yet again. I did a bit of a modded series and just a Risk of Rain series in general quite a while back now. But I've been having the hankering to play it again and I brought it up in the Isaac series and people were pretty uh, positive about the idea of bringing this back. So I think I'm going to do these episodes every now and again. I don't know if this is going to become like a regular series, if it's going to become something I do every Saturday or, or whatnot. But we'll see. Anyways, it depends how you guys like it. But... We are playing heavily modded, so we have a lot of new stuff. For example, tons of new difficulties. Um, and we're going to be playing on uh, one of the new difficulties, Rainstorm. Uh, sorry, not Rainstorm, Thunderstorm, which is halfway between Rainstorm and Monsoon. So a little bit harder, but not crazy. We have a bunch of expansions on here, as you can see. There is a ton of new artifacts, um, so we can play around with those at some point. Although, for now, we'll leave those off. And there's also a ton of new characters, as you can see here. Lots to unlock. All this good stuff. There's some really interesting stuff here. But to start off, I want to play as one of my favourite characters in this game. One of the vanilla ones. We're going to play as the amazing Rail Gunner. And I got some new skins for him as well. We've got um, this one here and this one here. I'm going to go with Rally Point because it looks really cool. Let me just check this guy's skills and make sure we've got on what we want to have on. Because I haven't looked at this guy's skills in a little while. So we've got... Uh, activate your long range scope. Um, okay, so we want the long range scope. Um, throw a out a device that can push you and all nearby enemies can hold up to two. Uh, we we want to go with a push so we can knock ourselves around. And we can either go with the piercing ramp of 4,000 damage or fire pierce. Okay, let's go with the, with the proper supercharge. All weapons are disabled for five seconds after using it. It's pretty, eh, it might not be great, but let's let's give this a go anyways. Let's just jump straight into this and have a good time, yeah. It's been a while since I played this game, so I do apologize if I'm terrible at it. Um, it has been quite some time, but I'm, I'm looking forward to it. And yeah, this is um, a character that I really love, mainly because um, I, uh, I love using snipers in most games. I am... Um, I play a lot of like Call of Duty and other FPS games and I always pick snipers. Um, so, I, I was just about to say I pride myself on my accuracy and then I immediately missed. And I really like the way that this guy can like highlight enemies and stuff, it's really cool. And to start out we get um, the the Mocha. Slightly increased attack speed um, and move speed. There is quite a lot of modded items we have enabled. I honestly can't remember what's modded and what isn't. There's just so much to go at. Um... Oh my god, I love that. Yeah, and you can hit crits on enemies as well. Basically, if you hit within that box, it counts as like sort of like a headshot. But yeah, this character just makes me feel good because yeah, it's 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 really good for like practicing your aim. Oh, missed that guy. Got him there though. It's really good for just practicing your aim and getting used to things. Um, but yeah, we can plop down. I think it's this one. Yeah. So just blast ourselves into different locations and stuff. What's that over there? And as you can see here, this guy has an active reload as well. If we click within that bar, ooh, did we get an? Did we get a aspect here? We did. No way. That's so rare. Okay, so when you kill an elite, there's a really rare chance that you get an aspect from them, which essentially turns you into um, that elite, um, or a, a basically an elite version of yourself that does. Considering with a fire one, will get fire damage. That's super rare. I do have a mod that changes them a little bit, but I don't believe it changes the rarity all that much, so still a pretty rare find uh, to get so early on. Really, really cool. Right, we're just looking for more chests at the minute. Um, there's one over there. Oh, here's one here. Nice. We've managed to garner up quite a lot of money here, so want to open all that we can. Uh, and we get Retaliate on taking heavy damage. That's decent enough. I hear another fella somewhere. Where are you? Is it you that I can hear? I think it is. Well, steps are loud in this game, damn. Um, we also get another modded item. Your critical strikes do more damage. That's insanely good for this character. We can also fire regularly without, um, without aiming down sight, but that's just no fun. We've got some elites here. 
Anything more behind here? Hello. Yeah, as you can see there, set that enemy on fire. We don't need any items to do that anymore. Let's get a bit of distance there. Only thing is going to be, as you saw there, there's a little bit of uh, fire trailing behind us, so aiming at certain things is going to be tough. I kind of wish there was like a thing with this character where like the more hits you got in a row, the higher is damage stacked or fire rate stacked or something. That would be really fun because like I said, I really, I like playing this character because it just makes me feel good about like my accuracy. <laughs> I play on quite a low sensitivity from like uh, as opposed to most PC like first person shooter players. Um, I, uh, I play on 400 GPI and then really low sensitivity. Oh. That's also really good for us. Uh, so my mouse sensitivity is really low, but I've gotten used to it now, and it helps me be a pretty good player, I think. So like, if I if I start from oh wait a minute, start from here and try to do a full 360, I only end up here on my mouse pad. I can't even do a full 360, which apparently is like against the rules of first person shooters. Apparently, you're always supposed to at least be able to do a uh, 360, but honestly, I don't mind it at all. Um. Right, what we got here? We got an apple. I don't know what the apple does. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try the apple. Gain health and shield. Okay, that's not bad. Um. Then I guess let's go and do the boss. I think we're about ready. Ow. Uh, maybe let's just check behind this bit first. And then we know where the boss is already, so... I should be using these way more often. I've got quite a lot of them. Oh, okay. That's an unlock that I wasn't expecting to get there, but happy for it, I guess. But apparently, we also have a double jump as this character. Did we did we get that as, a, as an item? Or do we just have a double jump as this character inherently? Or maybe that's part of the aspect that we picked up. I don't know. I kind of like the fact as well that you can do kind of trick shots with this guy. Like, let's do this. Whoa! Right, start the boss. I keep pressing F rather than E. Stupid me. Right, who are we going to get? Beetle Queen, not so bad. Yeah, Beetle Queen's dead. Oh, I forgot about the Beetle Guards. Get me on top of this rock real quick. There's a lot going on right now. Some incoming damage is dealt over time. That's pretty good. It's gonna save us some damage. Good thing is as well with this guy, we can do collaterals. And it's probably about time to use this. There you go. Basically beam through all the enemies. At this point, we basically have to kill as many enemies as we, as we can inside this area. I don't know what the hell this is. What the hell synergize? I literally have no idea what that is. That's a new mod that I've not tried before. Focusing so hard on hitting everything right now. Pretty much got all of them. Yeah, I don't know what the hell this synergize thing does. Some sort of cube. I guess we'll find out later on. Hmm. I didn't really read what the mod did, I just heard that it added synergies, which I thought was interesting. At least I'm imagining that's what mod is doing it. Oopsie. There we go, that's what I wanted. Ooh, void item. Ow. Um. Yes. Chance to collapse enemies on here. Honestly, not great with this character, to be honest. Um, it's going to take over all our tri-tip daggers. Basically, the corrupted items, they, um... 
take all of one type of item and convert them into a different item. It's really cool. Uh, they got added in the most recent update to the game. Or the most recent one that I've played. There might be more since then. I don't think there is, though. And what we got here. There's a another apple, but it's some sort of holy apple. <laughs> I'm going to try what see what that is. Right, we got any enemies that I can see out here? We have a few. Take a little look at them. Right. I can't really get them. You have to wait for stuff to spawn. I'm sure it'll spawn quickly enough. Sometimes it can be a little slow going to start with in this game. I love the music on this stage. Right, there you go. Got enough now. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Luckily, you don't take t uh, insane damage for doing that. And we got this apple. Ghost apple. Increase health regen for the next 20 minutes. Ooh, that's kind of an interesting idea for an item. The fact that it's uh, relegated to a time limit. I've not really seen that before. I've got a few elites here. Oh, hello. I don't really use the R ability that much early on, just because there's not that many enemies, um, and it disables all your other uh, weapons. But once we get to the later game, it starts to become more relevant. Right, anyways, let's... Uh, Let's get going. Oh, hello. One of these big guys. Oh, God, I missed that jump. Stupid. This is a good time to use it, though. Oh, fuck. I didn't realize they had such aggressive knockback. These things are okay in the ass. Yeah, I didn't realize it's had such aggressive knockback. And then we got another item here. Uh, deal more damage. I mean, standard. Easy. Quick to understand. I like it. We got finally got ourselves a green chest here for a slightly rarer item. Oh, we got a legendary as well. Uh, deal more damage for every void item you have. Okay, that's pretty good. We already have one void item, so... I wonder if that means every unique void item, or like if we have a bunch of stacks of the tri-tip void item, will that count as more damage? I don't know. Ooh, this is an enemy that's hard to hit up close. Let's just use this because it has a bit of herming on it. I prefer not to use that if I can, but sometimes it calls for it. I keep forgetting I have double jump. Need to utilize that a little bit more. Sure, there's some good stuff for us up here. Let's uh, go and have a look. <laughs> I really love using this thing. It's so fun. I like characters that have kind of more unique movement skills. That was a bit stupid of me there. Nice one. Let's have a chest here. A multiple barrier multiplies barrier decay by 83%. Interesting. So if we get um barrier is like a specific thing you can get from certain items. So we gotta try and buy some of those items. We actually had the option to buy one earlier, but we didn't buy it. That was a collateral there. Okay, nothing else here. One thing you can do as well, although it's very tricky, is you can like Oh, you can try and drop that. I'm gonna try to do it again. There you go. To negate fall damage, it's really tricky to do because you've got to time it just right. But it's a pretty pretty decent tactic if you're like low on health and need to drop away from somewhere. We got our at first active item here. We got our boss there. Um, drop many mines on use. Oh shit! Okay, that just dropped engineer mines. Nice. That's pretty good stuff. I quite like that. Right. Let's get on our way over towards this way. 
So these are a bit hard to determine because they don't visually look like anything. Like there's a there's one mod pack that doesn't have specific 3D sprites. It only has 2D. So that's a little bit of a shame, but I'm pretty much okay with it. It is what it is. Can I shoot these little Okay no. I was like I saw one of those little wisp things. I thought you maybe it was the something you could shoot at. Oh hello. Good hit, sir. Hey, we finally got a vanilla item. That's our first one, I think. Um, we managed to get uh, the ability to shoot a little quicker. Hey, and gasoline as well is really good. And then medkit's fine. We do have some 3D printers about, which basically allow you to swap a random item in your inventory of the same rarity for the one that's in the machine and get multiple of them, reduce incoming damage, nice. But honestly, I don't think I need um, anything like that right now. That was a bit of a bit of a waste of a jump there, but hey ho. And then we've got, ooh, yes, move faster out of combat. That is super nice. Basically, if we haven't been shot at for a certain amount of time, we're getting a movement speed increase. Very, very nice. Right, last chest over there, look. Gimme, gimme. Using your equipment heals you. Nice. Okay, so I guess we can place out some mines here. Play a Dune Strider. Not particularly hard, boss. There you go. He's dead. Gotta be ready for the onslaught that comes after it. Arms race. Drones are equipped with explosive weaponry. Sounds good. Yeah, I want to see what the synergize thing does. I don't know if it's supposed to do stuff with my items. M maybe next time I should leave the item that's on the floor there and then try it and see if that changes anything. Maybe I should just go and read what the mod does. That would also probably be quite valuable, but we're here now. Oh, I love stuff like that. The shots that just make you feel badass. This character is definitely quite overpowered, in my opinion, compared to a lot of the characters in the game. Um, bit overtuned because it can one-shot a lot of stuff, but it's just a lot of fun to play as. And also, it's one of those characters that it's only really super overpowered if you're good at aiming. So it's not like it's completely cheap. You do actually have to really put the, uh, like have the skill to make it work. But luckily. I've been playing FPS games since I was seven years old, so... On PC, that is, as well, so... I've gotten pretty decent with the mouse. Ah, damn, I missed my quick reload there. Okay, we're well, good. Let's get out of here. Ah, I was hoping it would solve me just before I hit the ground. Not quite, not quite. Ooh, okay, we've got a... Uh, we've got one of these void areas here. Clear the void seed. So I think what we've got to do is we've got to come in here and uh, pop these things. Oh yeah, we've got to kill the monsters as well. Okay, this could be a bit tricky, we've got to be careful. There's one of the void enemies. Void enemies have that, like, purple stuff around them. Honestly, I think it's more important to clear out the regular enemies first, because there is a lot of them. We spawned in a very hostile area here, to be honest. Oh, fuck, oh, fuck, oh, fuck. And void enemies have items, too. That's another thing. to kill that little thing there, otherwise it'll hop into another nearby enemy without wreaking havoc. Ooh, what the hell's this? A void marker? I've, I've not seen one of those before. Okay, we've got seven monsters left. Now, there could be above or below, so gotta watch out. The thing is, as well, we'll take damage constantly while in this area, too. So it's not something that you can just sort of stay in forever. 
I'm going to try and get on this ledge here and see what I can see. I don't know what the fuck that thing is. Yeah, there is some new stuff here that I do not recognize. Okay, it looks like we got a lot of the enemies right here. out of the void area again and we have three monsters left now worrying about everything else is the big problem right now oh, do you see that guy dodge me then oh. okay we, we can't really get hit by these guys too much because they apply they can apply a, a pretty strong debuff that collapsing that we can apply to enemies they can apply it to us too oh god Things are getting hectic. I've got another void marker over there. Okay, one of the other void enemies has been highlighted for us. Luckily, that is a thing that the game does for you. Um, somewhere over here is one of the void enemies. And then here, oh, ho, ho, ho. Will of the Wisp is very, very good. Is that him there? Did he just jump off the map? Oh, no, no, he didn't. He just, dropped, he just dropped down here, cheeky bastard. I thought he just jumped straight off the map. I was like, where the hell are you? Are you going? You're not going to escape me that easily. But yeah, as you can see, our difficulty is rising now. Uh, our difficulty is getting higher and higher. That's one of the key components of this game, for those of you that don't know. The longer that you're playing, the harder the game gets. There's a difficulty meter in the top right tied to our timer. So you've got to kind of... Go reasonably quickly unless you're like comfortable with the difficulty that you're adding to your game, which I am. I'm, I'm fairly okay with going slow. Criticals increase damage overall. Oh, that's so good for us. Sticky bomb, we'll take that as well. Some new modded items being unlocked here. Okay, there's one more void enemy, and I'm not quite sure where it is. So let's go. Let's go looking, shall we? Well, he's not actually in the void field, which makes it a little harder to suss out where he is. Hmm. This could be tricky. Oh, what the hell is this thing? Okay, I, I can't actually use those until the void thing's been cleared. Normally it highlights them for you, but I'm not seeing where the highlight is, unless the enemy is somehow miles away. Oh no, there it is. It's in the sky up here somewhere. That's why. Look at it. It's all the way over there. <laughs> Sniped. Right, there you go. Now the curse dissipates. And we can actually start using these things. Okay, we got them all. Oh, no, no, we didn't. Giddy are you. They're pretty hard to hit, as you can see. We need to go and check what that other uh, one was there. Hey, we got another apple. Good. So. An ash storm is approaching. I don't even know what that is. Okay, this is, this is getting a little hectic. Will the Wisp should take care of a lot of the nearby enemies. Right, what does this replace? Um, replaces bands. Oh, yeah, actually, that's pretty good. I like that. Basically, we can do that every now and again, where we create a black hole that sucks all the enemies in. Pretty darn awesome, to be honest. What are these void markers? Are these modded or are these vanilla? I, I, I don't know what these are. I've not seen them before. Get some dice. Purely for grant, grant, um, void potential. Ah, ah, ah. No, no, no. Really good item for us, actually, being able to group enemies like that. Right, what the hell's this thing? Ooh, hello. Um, I'm going to go with the, the goat hoof, just because I want extra speed. I think speed is a big thing in this game that is underrated, at least for me. I always underrate speed. 
And then here we got jetpack, increased jump height and reduced gravity. Ooh, that's fun. Yeah, Will of the Wisp is taking care of stuff pretty quick. I can see the portal's particles over there, so we want to be heading over that way. And i got to remember as well, that second jump can save us from a, from a big fall. I've come over here and just realised that there's nothing over here because there's no bridge to it. The ash begins to settle. I've never seen this before. So I'm curious about this. The ash begins to settle. I'm wondering how devastating this is going to end up being or if it's going to be something that's relatively uh, unharming. Activates and in uh, interacts with you a small amount of gold. Okay. That's pretty awesome. Um, reduces the amount... Oh, this is Slay the Spire items, I just realised. I didn't even get to read what that one did, but yeah, I've got a mod called that adds Slay the Spire items, that's why they all look like cards. Makes sense. Right, anything more around here? So I think we kind of want to bounce from the stage, because I do not know what the Ash Storm means, and I probably don't want to find out. I imagine it's pretty bad for me. Uh, vulnerable enemies take more damage. With, with Will the Wisp as well, it's just this is just a really crazy combo. Um, instantly kill um, low health elite monsters. That's very very good. For late game, not for right now really. For later on, it should be pretty useful. And then reduce damage from all attacks is rather nice. Right. Let's go. Ah, get off me. Stop trying to eat me. I got away. Okay, we got him, we got him. Right, let's try to be synergized before we pick anything up this time. Yeah, I still don't really know what that's doing. This is pretty good. Right, siphon health from nearby enemies while in combat. That's pretty good. Take a little sip of my drink. Took all those bad boys in. Which are, ooh, how, how, how did I miss that? Lob all these enemies off the cliff. Whee! Boom. Yeah, we've got a good combo of items going on here. Oh my god. Some chain reactions going on right now. Oh, what a look if he got pushed off the edge. Yeah, I still don't really know what this does. Maybe I should go and find out. Let's see if we can find out real quick. Um, installed. Synergies. I'm going to guess it's this. Um, see if it says on the page. This mod adds a new expansion. Um, expansion allows players to easily disable and enable mods with no hassle in the character selects. Oh, wait. I think it's just like... Interesting. I think it's just like a uh, way to add new items. I'm not sure what the hell the cube is then. Um, yeah, it's some sort of like mod creator thing, but I don't know what the hell the cube is. The cube is on the mod page, so it is added by this, but I'm really not sure what's uh, what the deal is with it, I'll be honest. 
Let's get gone, shall we? Beautiful. <laughs> oh, Will of the Wisp. You beautiful bastard. You're so fun. Yeah, so I don't know if it's worth using the cube or not. I've used it every floor so far, but it doesn't seem to have changed anything. We do have a healing drone right off the bat here. Spawn in a kind of shitty, shitty place here. I think I hear a, a clear Doom Strider above. In the later stages, bosses start just spawning normally. Oh, did we get another aspect here? Hello. Um, we're gonna aspect of lightning. We did, we did. There's another void item as well. Let's go take a look. Block the next source of damage, yes. I like that. I'm tooting out lightning every now and again as well here. Right, get, get the high ground so we can have a little look for, for crates. See one down there. Two down there. Ah! Enemies are quite a pain. Move slightly faster, slowing effects impact you less. Chance to refresh our skills, nice. Oh, all looks safe. You bloody fire wheel of bullshit. Yeah, these these buggers are annoying as well. Right, let's get the hell out of this this area. Oh, we got a stone titan, actually. Where's the stone titan? There he is. Oh, my apple. My apple ran out. Huh. You just knocked me all the way down there, you shit. For God's sake. Not where I wanted to be. Right, give me that health, that healing drone. Give me a new active. The active I've got right now isn't great. Execute a large monster. Ooh, that's really good. Really good. Attack faster, breaks when at low HP. Interesting. Yeah, those roly poly things are a nightmare. Pretty hard to hit, and they do quite a lot of damage. Chance Shrine. Pay for a chance to get an item. Killing an elite spreads its element effect onto other enemies. Nice. I like that a lot. Give me that drumstick again. Oh my god, get me the hell out of here. This, uh, this stage should have a, a legendary chest on it as well, but it's kind of hard to find. Gain Barry after standing still for one second. That isn't ever going to happen. I don't know will ever be a time where I voluntarily stand still for one second. got to get as many enemies in there as you can when you do that. Right, I see a chest up there. Marmoka, nice. We got one of those right at the start. You can see how things have developed, though. Things have gotten pretty wacky. Right, drop down here. This area is quite hard to, like, fully explore. Um, whatever this is, we'll take that. Increased damage. There's some pretty basic ones here, but I like them. You need to accelerate faster, you move the more damage you deal. Ooh, interesting. For some characters, I can imagine that being really good. Like, 
the loader. Got them. Swinging around is him. By the way, these enemies are awesome. Hey, here's our legendary crit. And we get ourselves. Sprint in any direction, use skills makes you move faster. I mean that's 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 pretty nice. Moving the sprint in every any direction thing isn't like insane. But um I very much like the uh the ability to Ooh, 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 ooh. Shine of the Mountain. We can double the amount of bosses for double the amount of rewards. Hell to the yes. It's a very bad idea, but I will take that opportunity every single time. Right. Quickly check up on the tree. And I think it's probably about time that we go and do our boss. There's nothing up here. The chest down there that I see. Um, your critical strikes build a static charge to shock the next enemy. That's awesome, because we do a lot of critical strikes. Right, let's go for this. I was like, where the hell is this thing's crit point? Also, we only got one enemy because it's a glacial one. Basically, uh, instead of giving us multiple of the same boss, which is what it can do, it instead decided to um, give us an elite version of the boss that we would have fought anyways. Which I'm not sure which is worse. But as you can see, we're killing it pretty quickly. The Genesis loop there, nice. Oh my god. Things are getting a bit crazy. Yeah, I'm liking the movement speed that we're gaining here. Movement speed is pretty awesome. There we go. We're still in the circle if we sit up here, but we're a little bit safer, so let's do that. I say a little bit safer, and it spawns a bunch of enemies that can easily get up to our level. Not a fan of it doing that. Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? Oh, there you are. Eh, I can't quite hit you. Damn it. Fell off now. Technically, we're still in right there as well, but a little bit hard to sit there. Are you okay, guys? They tried. They, they sure did try. Woo! Oh, that one made it. Nice. Well done to you, I guess. There you go. We're good to go. Another successful floor. I think we're on to the last floor now. Before we can loop or uh, go to the last boss. The last boss is really hard. So I don't know if I'm going to bother with that. Sky Meadow. Okay, there is a lot of void stuff going on up there. Holy shit, that is a lot of void stuff. There's even a void reaver. Trim, what the hell does trim mean? What did I do to earn trim? Did I trim or did I kill a trim? What is a trim? Oh, hello. Big granddaddy over there. Uh, there's eight enemies left in this Void Seed, so... Or oh, seven now. Quite a lot to deal with. But remember, they won't all reside exactly in this circle. They can be kind of anywhere. It's going to be kind of hard to find them. Well, there's three left now. I don't know what happened to the rest of them, but... Oh, there's one. Is there any, like, fly boys about the place? I'm not seeing any. Hmm. Right, I guess we go on the hunt. I might go see what that grandfather boy's doing and uh, insta-kill Oh, there's one of them.
And I'm guessing this Void Weaver's the next one. I was wondering where he got off to. There you go. Is that it? Yes, that's it. Okay, nice. This Void area has been cleansed. Um... Yeah, I'll take that. Right, basically we have to make sure there's no enemies nearby for the uh, little buddies to latch onto whenever we do this. Heal while sprinting. Oh, ho, 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 ho. yes, please. That is incredible. Now damage is just going up and up and up. Okay, the bridge isn't here, damn it. Sometimes this area generates with a bridge. This time it did not. Chance to launch a mortar. We've also got one of these bad boys as well. Um, activating interactable gives you nine. Yeah. Just more amount of gold. Yeah, that's, that's fine. It's not really great, but it's fine. Okay, let's loot all of this area. Got a lunar pod there. I don't think I want to bother with lunar items, to be honest. Mimics your other items at random. Very, very nice. Open both of these up. Grab that. We're getting so much money at the minute. Money's not even an issue. Um, heal when you begin a teleporter event. And we got... What's this next item we got? Every version is personalized. I don't know what that means. That could mean anything. Right. The clouds begin to clear. Ah, there you go. One of the events that was going on has stopped. Has ceased to exist. God damn, the pull on that uh, black hole is crazy. It says miss a thousand, but I don't think I did miss. Right. Heal a little HP at the start of combat, nice. Oh, we got a gold statue here, didn't see that before. 3,000? I mean, we'll pop it. Might, why not? I don't know what the grandfather gives if we uh, insta-kill him, but I'm kind of curious to find out. We've got this um, this rifle as our active. We can insta-kill the grandfather to get his, um, his special item. Here it is. Receive flat damage when attacked. I don't know if that's good. It sounds okay, but I honestly couldn't actually tell you if that's good or not. That could be devastatingly bad. Uh, right. Teleporter we haven't actually sussed out yet, have we? Okay, we're gonna have to go exploring. That- <laughs> I tried to use this to blast myself and completely miss. Okay, here's the teleporter then. So what you can do is you can activate this outside to loop, or you can just activate it as normal. Let's yeah, as normal. I'm going to try the boss. I find the boss pretty tough, but... Okay, we got him. And we got ourselves... Increase the duration of buff by 125%. That's crazy. Okay. Very nice. Web whip again. That's really nice. Oh my god. This area is hectic. I don't even know what's going on. The bell guys are so uh, easy to miss. Our damage is pretty crazy though. I think we're about ready for the boss. It's been a fun run. Eleven K damage on a shot there. Okay, 
Okay, okay. And we're good to go. Storm is approaching. Better get out of here. Oh, I forgot about this. It's fine. It's fine. I forgot about the gold dimension. Activating that gold statue spawns a golden portal at the end. But here we are at the uh, at the boss. What active do we have here? Oh, I've just I've just got the thing that says ahoy constantly. I forgot about that. I should have tried to get another active before I came here. It's fine. I'm actually too fast for this now. I've got to like go uh, boom, and even though it doesn't really matter, I might as well just go. Go, go, go. I haven't been to this area in a really long time. And in fact, I think the boss got a bit of a rework since I last played. There's a good chance it's not as hard or it's different from when I last fought it. We shall see. Here's the ship. I don't think I can get in there though, can I? Nah. Can't get to the ship until I've finished everything else. These things, though, from what I remember, kind of destroy you. So you've got to be pretty careful around them. Seemingly pretty hard to crit as well. Yeah, these, these little orbs that they fire, they do some nasty damage, so... Let's be careful around them. There's a few different challenges we've got to do around here. It's not as simple as just... Everything's done. We've got to, like, do a few different puzzle sort of things. I think it's these things here. We've got to activate. Oh, sugar tits. I'm getting wrecked right now. There's an enemy shooting me. Oh, it's one of you. I see, I see. I didn't see that enemy. Activate pillar. Yeah, so you activate these pillars, and the pillars have, like, different challenges associated with them. This one is a survival challenge, of course. I think we've got to be in this circle, though, while we're doing it. It's a little bit tricky. Especially with some of these enemies. I'm guessing that does damage to us. It does. I had to try. Okay, 32%. I hear another big enemy behind this wall somewhere. I'm not sure where, but I hear it. Another thing with this area as well is you need movement speed and jump abilities to be able to like get around easier. Oh god, we have 2,000 of 800 health. I'm not quite, quite sure how we've managed that, but that's that's good stuff. <laughs> it's good stuff. I can see the pillar sinks into the ground. I think there's four of these we have to do. I can't remember. It might be three. And they, they all have a slightly different challenge, if I remember correctly. They're not all just like kill stuff. Right. Charge pillar, um, yeah, four. Okay, it says in the top left there. Look, uh, top right even. And you can you can notify where they are by the big beams of light in the sky. There's one. Look, right there. Trying to kill this guy before he becomes a nuisance later on. There you go. There you go. And then this one, activate. Slightly different. Seems to be zooming a lot quicker. Not quite sure what this one's doing, actually. Pillar of the Soul. There isn't many enemies spawning. Oh shit, there's an enemy right next to me. <laughs> I'm just sat there like, no, there's no enemies around here. There's just one literally on top of me. There you go. I managed to get that one done as well pretty easily. Let's get out of here. And there's two over there by the looks of it. 
Also, if I if I remember correctly, is it? I, I don't remember where it is now. There's an area that has a bunch of items for sale in this area. I think it's over there. Let me go check that out. Yeah, it's that little island there. Look, there's a bunch of um, 3D printers or traders available. For example, there's this thing here. Um, see, the thing is, I don't know what some of these items are. So I don't know if they're worth trading for. And my build is pretty good right now, so it's kind of a little bit of a big risk. Okay, we, 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 won't, we won't take any of these for now, just because it is a little bit of a, a huge risk. These little bumbling things everywhere, it's all I can hear. Right, let's make our way over to this last area over here. Luckily, with the double jump and the speed, we have, we're have able to pretty much get anywhere we want to go. Nice. Two shot those guys. Luckily, I can see enemies through walls, so I know when stuff spawns. Ooh, this one's interesting. So this one charges really fast, but I take damage while I'm in it. Which means I basically can't have any enemies around, otherwise it's going to be bad for me. It seems to charge really fast, though. There you go. And is this one the same? The same. Okay, so let's let's get out of here and make sure we kill everything first. We don't want to take any damage from external sources while we're doing that. Nice. Okay, that is all four pillars done. I think we gotta make our way to the center now. I'm still probably still going to die to this boss because I just haven't fought it in a really long time, but we'll give it a go. Right, I think there's like jump pads to get up to here somewhere. I honestly don't remember. Hmm. There's a way to get up there. Fuck if I know what it is, but there is a way. I I'm guessing that, that it's over there where I just went, and I've just completely ignored it. Let's go find out. Yeah, I, be I bet it's like right here, and I just completely missed it. Or maybe not? I thought there was like a big old teleport thing. Oh, a big old sword in here. Look at that. Hmm. Okay, I'm really not sure. Find a way to release the rescue ship. It's just about exploring and seeing what I can find, I guess. Damn, I wish I knew what some of these did. I bet some of these are really good. I bet one of them probably like triples your crit damage or something stupid that I just walked past. Oh wait, there's a there's a thing over here, look, there you go. Completely missed that. I'm pretty sure that's what I'm looking for. Yep, this is it. This is what we're looking for. It's bossing time.
Hello, good fella. This guy's no fucking joke from what I remember. But we do a lot of damage to him though, shit. Oh fuck. I prepared my big attack and then he uh, stopped. He kind of like disappeared, so. Okay, he can shoot too. I didn't know he could shoot. This, this is definitely a new fight from the one that I did the first time around. Like, I don't recognize a lot of this. I do remember this bit. You have to fight a bunch of these guys. Take out the sky goblins first. Is that it? He's back. Yeah, now he's gonna actually get some hits. In. Luckily, we have the moon gravity thing and all the extra... Oh my gosh. All the extra shit that we have. Oh god, what the fuck is this? That's an interesting attack that I'm not prepared for in the slightest. Yeah, aim of the game here is stay in the air. Clearly it's stay in the air. Okay, he's dead again. I think I think we've got another phase of enemies spawning now, if I remember correctly. I'm gonna get far away and Oh no, this is the phase where he steals all your fucking items. Shit. <laughs> I forgot about this. Get them back slowly, one by one. It's a really, really cool idea for a fight, but this phase always fucking annihilates me. Okay, we got him. We got all our items back. That was like the bit that was scaring the shit out of me. I think we got one more phase left. Oh wait, maybe not. But how the fuck do I get? How the hell do I get back? Wait, what? I'm confused. How do I leave? How do I leave? I don't understand how I leave. Is there a portal somewhere I'm supposed to be finding? I'm very confused. I have very limited time here. Oh, there you go. I've got to hit one of those things. Okay. Lots of enemies on my back now. The game is so bright right now. Oh, fuck. I didn't realize there was going to be like shit going on around here. Oh my goodness. This has been quite something. There's not really a clear defined way to avoid these big old beams of light, is there? But, I think we've just about done it. Or not? I think I just have to stay in this zone until it charges, look. Which 
scares me because there's Void Reavers everywhere. And void Reavers can literally insta-kill you if you get unlucky. 50% of the way done there. And they make a terrifying noise when they die as well. Thank God we're able to kill them in two crits. Get on the ship! Huzzah! That was pretty cool. It's been a long time since I've seen that cutscene. There you go. There's a win on this beautiful game. Ready to take a shot. We can skip this. We've seen this before. But yeah, fantastic game. Good mods. Good shit. We unlocked a good amount of stuff there. Seems we do have quite a lot of other modded unlocks available to us. Either way, I hope you guys did enjoy this one. This was a lot of fun. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.